we don't have any new notes. Oh. oh. What happened here? I'm telling you, there will be something here eventually. Okay, I'm not interested in that letter, it seems. Hm. That's a very pretty portrait. I forgot to lower the volume of it. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note on a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at the small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please, let me know as soon as possible. Thomas. Hmm. I'm sorry if it's dark for you. Believe me, it's dark for me as well. Hmm? Oh, maybe I'm not the students. Taurus block. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hope you don't mind. Okay. I get it. of June. June, June, don't forget. 9.06? Hmm. That was effective. Not as far as maintaining the door, but funny. September 15. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Hm, so it earlier. Now there's an alcohol. But surely changing. Let's go here. Wait, why is there a drop here? Hmm. And 
it this way. Hmm? Why wouldn't I light more? Every light this house. Okay, everything is correct. We can't crouch. So then definitely not supposed to get the capital and outward. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your it was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you referred to as a freakish green or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be a manifestation of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Physiolo okay. uh, do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, ar arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues. Should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program? Sincerely, Robert Richards. Another fuck. Insert the form. I go this way. Fire. Oh God. Is she which hospital? I'm on my way. Sorry. Okay, so we are on our way, but hmm. is it infinite or
Press this one, nice. Quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. Maybe. Oh, there is a term for flying rat, but that usually eh, describes something else entirely. Get them. Hmm. Or booze. This. Mm -hmm. I must be advancing. Don't want me to go any further, just you know, you can tell me. Nope, okay, so we're going back. For the down? No. Okay. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it. Don't, just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I would say you have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts. No more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your dog. Hmm. I saw the door change. Hmm? Quick. I wonder when we will step into oh, okay. step into all those rat oh traps. Yes, can you turn it? Nope. Into all those rat traps that we've set. Mm -hmm. No. 
Oop. I even see that from this one. So I guess it's gonna open so no. Please close your eyes if you get the vertigo easily. Uh, vertigo. Uh, easy. Oh, motion sickness? Motion sickness. Unfortunately, I cannot close my eyes. Thirsty, furly, furry leeches, afraid blue cup. Okay. Hmm. He doesn't want to. Why should I make him? I'm sorry. Oh. Change. I have to look down to see if I'm not overtaking as well. Feel safe. Although that table looks safe. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Hmm. As dark as you use it. I'm wondering what happened to her leg. Like, I do remember that to be. Oh. Was I this stupid as to not to? Yes. Yes, I was. Trying my best to look at switches from now on. Oops. No more notes. No. Mm. Okay. 
eventually there will be something here. Maybe a rat. Or 100. It almost will be a grotesque misunderstanding. Oh. Not something else, I know. I guess we're getting somewhere. To go. We don't need free to go. But if you fail, then you start over. That's simple. 